Let's try to study about latest rectum of ellipse. Now, what it says here, we have this ellipse centered at origin. This is x-axis, this is y-axis. Let's take this point as C and D and this point as A and B. This is my first focus, this is my second focus. Okay, latest rectum or in this ellipse we have CD and AB a line which is perpendicular to the major axis going to the focus and both the ends on the ellipse is called latest rectum. This line here perpendicular to the major axis we have two latest rectum here CD and AB perpendicular to the major axis this is my major axis going to the focus CD is going to F1 AB is going to F2 so line segment perpendicular to the major axis going to the focus and both the end points sitting on the focus CD C and D both are sitting on the ellipse AB A and B both the end points are sitting on the ellipse now this is what is the basic understanding of a latest rectum of the ellipse. What we have to learn here is what is the length of CD or AB. Length of CD and AB both will be equal. Before finding out the concept of CD and AB, let's look into the concept of eccentricity right here. Eccentricity or we call it E is the ratio of C and A. We know that what is C? C is the distance of foci from the center. OF1 is C, OF2 is C. A is the semi major axis. So the ratio of C and semi major axis is called eccentricity. E is equal to C over A, or we can write as C equals to a, E. One and the same thing. Now let's go back to the concept of latest rectum. We know the standard equation of ellipse which is let's try to find out length of AB. What is my point A? Coordinates of point A would be C comma Y. OF2 is C. So X axis would be C. AF2 I am taking as y. So coordinates would be c comma y. y can be length of af2. Now x square over a square plus y square over b square equals to 1. Here x is c. Point of coordinates x is c here. So in place of x square I'll write c square over a square plus y square over b square equals to 1. Now, C equals to AE, so C square would be A square E square over A square plus Y square over B square equals to 1. A, A cancels. E square plus Y square over B square equals to 1 or Y square equals to B square into 1 minus E square Y square equals to b square 1 minus e square in place of e square i can write c square or a square e equals to c over a so e square will be equal to c square over a square y square is equal to b square 1 minus c square is equal to a square equals to b square plus c square so c square will be equal to a square minus b square so this will be a squared minus b squared over a squared. Let's solve only this portion here. A squared minus b squared over a squared. A squared minus b squared over a squared will be a squared over a squared minus b squared over a squared. So this will be 1 minus b squared over a squared. So here this will be y squared equals to b squared 1 minus 1 minus 
b squared or a squared. So y squared equals to b squared 1 minus 1 plus b squared over a squared. So this becomes y squared equals to, it becomes 0. So b squared into b squared over a squared will be b4 over a squared. So y is equal to b squared over a y comes out to be b squared over a this point here is b squared over a as i said in the beginning y is the length of af2 y would be this point which is the length of af2 y equals to b squared over a all right which is af2 now you see in this ellipse, AF2 and BF2 will be equal. Ellipse is always symmetrical along both the axes. This ellipse is symmetrical along x-axis as well as y-axis. So if ellipse is symmetrical along x-axis, AF2 and BF2 will be equal. In that case, I'll write here AF2 equals to BF2 means AF2 plus bf2 will be equal to b squared a plus b squared a which is af2 plus bf2 can be taken as ab so ab is equal to 2b squared over a it means length of latest rectum for the ellipse standard ellipse would be 2b squared over a all right this is 2b squared over a this will also be 2b squared over a because both the latest rectum would be equal because the ellipse is symmetrical along both the axes. Alright?